شَهْرُ رَمَضَانَ الَّذِي أُنْزِلَ فِيهِ الْقُرْآنُ هُدًى لِلنَّاسِ وَبَيِّنَاتٍ مِنَ الْهُدَى وَالْفُرْقَانِ فَمَنْ شَهِدَ مِنْكُمُ الشَّهْرَ فَلْيَصُمْهُ وَمَنْ كَانَ مَرِيضًا أَوْ عَلَى سَفَرٍ فَعِدَّةٌ مِنْ أَيَّامٍ أُخَرُ يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ بِكُمُ الْيُسْرَ وَلَا يُرِيدُ بِكُمُ الْعُسْرُ وَلِتُكْمِلُوا الْعِدَّةَ وَلِتُكَبِّرُوا اللَّهَ عَلَى مَا هَدَاكُمْ وَلَعَلَّكُمْ تَشْكُرُونَ وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ أُجِيبُ دَعْوَةَ الدَّاعِ إِذَا دَعَانِ فَلْيَسْتَجِيبُوا لِي وَلْيُؤْمِنُوا بِي لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْشُدُونَ Hi guys, it's H here from H's Life. Welcome back and for those of you that are new here, welcome and I hope you enjoy this video. I'll be decorating my home for Ramadan and I hope you can catch some good ideas for yourselves. I'll also be doing a little area for the children. So currently I'm typing up some activities and questions for the wooden Ramadan calendar for the children that you saw in one of my previous videos, my Ramadan haul video. So I'm just, I've got 30 of these to fit into each uh, drawer in the calendar. Um, some of them are easier, some of them require some help from parents. And this, these are really good to keep the kids busy and involved during the month of Ramadan and also to learn about Ramadan, the meaning of Ramadan. And it's also a nice way to reward them with some treats during the month. I've seen some great calendars out there um, by different companies. This one I got a couple of years ago and I have been able to reuse it. Um, so I think it was a good buy. So guys, with the actual uh, statements, questions, activities, I've done it wisely. Y usually the most energy, especially for those that are fasting, is during the first part of Ramadan, the first 10 days. So the tasks that involve parental help, usually I add those tasks or activities to the beginning, sort of from number 1 to 10. That's when we as parents have the most energy and the ones that require the least help from parents or the easiest task I, I usually add to the um, bottom of the calendar that's when we're sort of lacking in energy so that's the way I do it that's just a, a, a point that I thought would be um, good to share especially for parents uh, with young children it can get quite a lot during Ramadan so I think it's a good one and then usually the last two days, 29, 30, I dedicate to sort of the Eid activities, maybe decorating for Eid or some baking, making some cookies or desserts ready for Eid. So we usually leave those ones till the end. And in the Eid box at the bottom, I usually just add some sweets for them to um, have on Eid day. I like to pop in questions like this just to give them reminders or to learn something new. And you can change and adjust these activities according to the age of your children. So I have one that's five and one that's nine. So it can, uh, I try to make it so that they can both do things or learn things. Okay, so this is my uh, reminder um, hanging frame, if you like. And just, just a few reminders um, for the month uh, that I'll hang up and put in a designated area um, in the living room somewhere just to um, help me 
remember and the rest of the family remember these things in particular. So simple things like helping set up for iftar, which is the time we break fast, uh, reciting Quran at least 10 minutes a day, which obviously brings more benefit during this month than any other. And remembering to say the, the prayer for when we break the fast. And just an activity together as a family, which I think is really nice and it involves the children really well. And it feels special to them too. So hanging reminders if you like. So this is how I decided to set my table for this blessed month. I went for golds and creams and these are actually disposable plates but I thought they were a bit fancier than just standard ones so and that's the point they're much easier to use less washing up during this month less tidying up I tend to use um, plas plastic or paper plates during this month just to make it a little bit easier because we all lack a little bit of energy and anything that makes it easier is always a plus So if you remember in my Ramadan decoration haul, you saw the tablecloth. Uh, I bought some more things afterwards, like these coffee cups and these plates. I think it's just nice to make it look a bit more special than a normal uh, day or month just to give that vibe, especially when you're breaking fast. So the coffee cups also have like silhouettes of moons and masjids on them, uh, mosques, so, and they have the, the gold, so they, they go well with the rest of the table. And you probably remember this from my Ramadan haul too. So I thought that would look nice in the center of the table. Either can add some tea lights or some water with some petals floating at the top. I ended up buying this crescent shape uh, bowl or platter and some of these tea light holders. So again I will put some tea light candles in those and in the bowl maybe some chocolates or some dates. And I think it's just a nice touch. Some nice warm golds and creams. Okay, so then we move on to the children's area and for them there's their wooden calendar and that's just a mini prayer mat that I've had for a long time and I like to just place it there and then their baskets that I um, assembled for them with lots of goodies like prayer mats, some activities and this light up frame I found and this platter in the shape of a mosque which I will add sweets to. And it's just a nice little area for them. And that lights up too. There you go. And we just added some sweets which they can have when they complete an activity. So this is the uh, sideboard next to the dining table. 
and I just bought a few things to add to this. The, this one is a light up moon and star and it's just white and I thought it went well with the gold and I found this um, lantern which says Ramadan Mubarak on it and it lights up so I thought that was quite nice. And these are just candle holders that I've had from before and they're gold so they go nicely with the theme so I thought I'd add them. And I don't know about you guys but these lantern fairy lights without these I don't feel like I'm in the Ramadan spirit and if you live in the Gulf they're easily available and I'm sure in other places too now. And I'm just placing them above the mirror which is just above the sideboard. And they're gold too, so that will look perfect. So I think it just adds a pretty touch to the rest of the dining area. So moving on to the living room, these are the balloons that I picked up and they say Ramadan Mubarak. Um, I'm just pumping up each letter. You can fill them with helium too, but they do provide a ribbon with it, so I decided to go for this. And I thought they fitted really well on my window. And this is how we strung them together. And added the Mubarak just underneath, and then aligned the letters. I thought this was more suitable for a children's home. I think the kids really like these balloons. You can go for a more sophisticated look, but this is something that I thought was nice in a children's home. And I added some fairy lights, which are in the shape of moon and stars at the top. And then I always like a little reminder area for myself and my husband in particular. And this is a little table that I set up usually in the living room and just place some things that are useful throughout the month on there and some decor bits of course and this small uh, ceramic platter that says Ramadan Kareem on it I like to add some dates there I do, I do like to nibble on dates uh, um, a Quran and some prayer beads and then I'll just add my uh, reminder hanger, uh, hanging up just behind there we were just deciding on how to place it there because of the shape it won't stand so maybe attach it to the wall just there And I think it just adds a pretty touch to the living room. And then just for the front door, I added this uh, moon and star just to give a Ramadan feel. And then my kids added this little touch. This is their area. And we did a little Ramadan, pre-Ramadan meal to test it out. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed decorating with me today. And I hope you all have a blessed Ramadan. Take care and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.